When it comes to trading bots and algorithmic trading, a lot of what I talk about is individual trading systems and building good trading bots. And over time, if you have multiple good trading bots, you get a portfolio, right, of multiple trading systems that hopefully are diversified and have relatively low correlation to be successful. But what if you could build a trading system that looks at your portfolio as a whole and helps you protect your profits? In today's video, we're gonna be building a automated trailing stop that is attached to our portfolio profit and loss for the day and will help protect our profits in a portfolio. It's gonna look at your account P&L, so your account profit and loss, and monitor that. And if it goes up a certain amount, it will activate a trailing stop, which will trail under the P&L by a percentage basis. And if your account P&L starts dropping, it will sell. But if your account P&L starts going up, the trailing stop is gonna move up with it. That's how trailing stops work. In today's video, we're gonna be building a portfolio system that will attach a trailing stop on our P&L and thus protect our profits. This is a nice, unique way of adding some diversification to your portfolio without actually building another individual trading system that looks at an instrument, but instead operates on the whole portfolio. So let's get started and build our portfolio trailing stop. All right, so as you know, I use NinjaTrader to run my automated trading systems and the whole portfolio as whole. And thus all the systems that I build and run and test is all through the NinjaTrader uh, universe and environment. So this portfolio trail system will only work with NinjaTrader and don't fret, NinjaTrader supports multiple brokerages and whatnot. And I think isolating it's a great product. Building your own system from scratch uh, isn't incredibly tough to do as one person. If you have a team, it's different, but um, I think you can still be successful using uh, an existing platform like NinjaTrader or TradeStation. So here's the source code for our portfolio trail stop. Uh, if you're in my newsletter, you would have got this already about a week ago, so I sent it a little bit earlier. Um, so this is a video afterwards, but let's talk about the code, how it functions. And if you want this portfolio trailing system, see the links in the description below. All right. So, uh, Ninja trader is C sharp. So this is obviously a C sharp code. Uh, it's a Ninja trader strategy inherits from that. And we have some of the, uh, declaring of the variables, uh, a lot of which we don't actually use because I modified this code because there were some other features in here that um, uh, you guys probably wouldn't want to see. So I just uh, took everything out except the trail code. Let's get into the meat of potatoes, uh, which happens in on bar update. So on bar update, this function is called anytime um, we get new price data. So if we're running on the one minute bars, this update is called every one minute. So what I do on every bar update, we calculate our unrealized P&L, right? So how much um, are we up for the day unrealized? Which means basically we're still in a position, right? Then the realized P&L, which is how much we're up that we've locked in, that we've closed positions on. And then I make a variable called day P&L, which is a combination of the two, right? Because if we're up a thousand realized and say 2000 unrealized, that means for the day so far, we're up $3,000. I reset our trail variables on backtest. So anytime you start a strategy in NinjaTrader, and I'll show you guys how to run this portfolio trail stop after as well, uh, it does do a sample backtest. Um, so the backtest is in a historical state. Thus, if I check if it's historical, I'll, I'll reset our trail and our watermark, okay? So now our trail stop code. Um, so we have a check to say, if our day p &L is greater than or equal to our daily trail target, Right, so our daily trail target is gonna be a dollar amount, and that dollar amount is when our trail stop activates. So by default, that is a thousand dollars, right? So if we're up a thousand dollars, and that means our trail stop is gonna activate, and it's gonna be below that a thousand dollars by a percentage basis. So we have another variable called double uh, daily trail stop, sorry, and by default it's 25%. So basically, if we're up a thousand dollars, it's gonna activate, and the trail is gonna sit. 25% below that $1,000. So if my math is correct, as soon as it activates, the trail stop will lock in at minimum $750, because it'd be 25% uh, of 1,000 is 250, yep. So it would be a $750, right? So if, it, if our daily p &L comes down to that, it's gonna sell all of our positions. However, if our daily p &L goes up, you guys know how a trail stop works, that trail is gonna move up with it. 
So if our day P&L is greater than or equal to our daily trail target, we are going to set our trail activated Boolean to true. I have some debugging too, so you guys can see the logs in uh, NinjaTrader. But we're going to set our, uh, we're not set yet, but uh, we're going to have a trail watermark too. And that watermark, a high watermark, right, is basically, it's called watermark because it's sort of like, if the ocean rises, right, that whatever's floating is going to rise with it. So the trail watermark is going to rise, right? So uh, we're going to log that trail watermark as well. So that's the first if statement. This if statement will run as well right after it. So if trail activated is true and the day PNL is greater than or equal to our trail watermark, right? We're going to update our watermark. We're going to say, all right, trail watermark is equal to the current day PNL, right? So if our PNL is higher than that watermark, we want to update it. So update the high watermark of the trail stop. And then we log it to, and that will, that way you can see it in the log tab um, in NinjaTrader. Now, when do we sell of our positions? If what if our trail stop hits? So this is the third uh, if statement here. So if trail is activated and our day PNL is less than equal to our trail watermark minus our trail watermark times our daily trail stop divided by 100, we are going to flatten our account, which means sell all of our positions. So we write a log flattening account trail and then the account name, and then for each of our positions in the account. I do a check if it's of type future. Um, in case you have stocks in your account, maybe you don't wanna sell those, I'm not sure. You can edit that code if you want to. But we're gonna loop through each of our positions and then close that position with an order name of trail stop, okay? So if we quickly do the math on a calculator here, so we'll do 0.25, which, would be, which is our daily trail stop, which is 25% divided by 100. So 0.25 um, multiplied by, say our trail watermark is uh, 1,000, right? 250. And then 1,000, which would be this variable, minus 250 will be 750. So if our data PNL is less than or equal to 750, it's going to sell. So it makes sense on the, uh, the math side. And that's pretty much all the code. I think it could be documented a little bit better, but uh, it's a great start if you want to run this trail stop alongside your systems to um, you know, potentially reduce your volatility in your account, lock in your gains. Of course, I would definitely model and backtest this. Backtesting is tough. Maybe I'll make a separate video on that, but I actually backtest it in Excel. But what I want to also end off with is how to actually run this thing. So. Uh, portfolio trail, which is a C sharp file. Uh, first of all, to actually add it to NinjaTrader, you have to go into your documents folder, NinjaTrader 8, bin, custom, strategies, drop it in there. Then you want to open the NinjaTrader editor. So open NinjaTrader, go to new at the top left, select NinjaScript editor. And then you have to compile it. So make sure you hit the compile button, which is up here, or you can press F5 on your keyboard to compile. And you'll see a little icon at the bottom left here. And that will compile it. Then to actually run it live, you go to your, your, strategies, uh, your strategies tab in NinjaTrader, right click anywhere, hit new strategy. And then go to portfolio trail, which is here. You can adjust your trail stop percentage and your daily trail trigger here. And then as far as the data series, obviously it's not trading um, any instruments, but it needs data. So um, by default, it's gonna run on one minute. So it's gonna update every minute. That means the trail and everything's gonna update every minute. If for whatever reason you want it to be more granular, you can always change it to seconds or ticks. One minute is usually pretty sufficient. Um, all the other settings you can leave, except the account. The account is where it's actually gonna sell the position. So if you want it to sell on SIM 101, then select SIM 101. If you want it to sell on your live interactive brokers account, then select that live interactive brokers account, which usually is like a U and then some numbers. So make sure you put it on the account that you actually want it to sell positions on, and then simply hit okay and uh, enable the strategy. And 
and um, you'll see the logs here in the log file of when it's going to sell. So, uh, you know, test this yourself for sure. Um, you know, I, I definitely uh, have used this before, but in a different, bigger context. So definitely test this, use this at your own risk, but I think it's a great, um, a great way to, you know, protect your capital, lower your volatility in your portfolio, and give you that tool, that, that software tool to get started with that if you wanna make uh, updates to it. So that's our portfolio trail. Um, I hope you found value in this video. Let me know in the comments below if you did, and if you want me to work on more maybe portfolio systems uh, instead of individual trading systems. So let me know about that, and have a good weekend, guys. Peace.